update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. That's your 2 p.m. update. And currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. Dow's off 138, so certainly off of its lows. That's down about a half a percent. One and three tenths for the S&P, or 53 points. NASDAQ, two and a half percent, or 300 points. Russell, two percent, 38 points. Semis, two and a quarter percent, 64 points. Gold trading up 16 bucks at 1863. Silver straight out at 2207. That's up one and six tenths percent. Lights be crude up a buck trade out at 113.23 natural gas up uh, nine cents uh, trade out at 882 and the 30 treasury off one point and 19 30 seconds she's trading at 141.29 let's go spend a little time and take a look at our indice charts out here get a feel for how what they're communicating to you and i as we begin with the dow jones yesterday the dow jones confirmed a buy the d point pattern it had that means it had the a to b Equal CD pattern. I've drawn in the A to B, basically. I'll move that line over to the C to D leg out there. The reason why it was confirmed was because we had a nice bull sash candle out there. If price can close above its oscillator and change line, and it's trading just above it right now, that would be our second consecutive day. That's at 31,687. If we get that, price should make its way back to the 32,617-ish area. That's the prior swing point. The S&P 500 also confirming a buy the D point yesterday. It needs to close above its oscillator and change line, 38.27. It's got its work cut out for it. That's about another 13 points to the upside. If, in fact, it closes above that, that suggests heading back to the 4100 level. The NDX 100, it did close above the top of its, or it did close above its red oscillator and change line yesterday, but it's below it today. Needs to get above 11.865. What happens if it closes below it? Then it says the work to the downside may not be over. Same would be the case for the Russell 2000. The level that it needs to close above is 1757. In the case of the semiconductors, it needs to close above 2862 to suggest a further rally. Otherwise, when you're below a red oscillator change line, it's telling you it would prefer to go seek out lower price or at least do a test. And that test here would be of a prior swing point. If we take a look at the transports, they just look basically ugly. Although yesterday was a buy the D point pattern. No, was it? Yeah, uh, no, it was not. I take that back. Just delete that last portion of what I said. Chart, please. There's no chart up. Oh, my goodness gracious. I'm going to have to have a talk with that guy, Steve Rhodes, out there. Make sure he gets his act together next time around. My apology for that. Hey, the New York Stock Exchange out there. That's looking pretty strong. Folks, have a terrific Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday.